Assalamualaikum everyone. Hope you all are doing well. Our team would like to present to you our presentation on the topic of surface and subsurface exploration methods. I am Sadia Prajnokshi starting our presentation. So here my first point concern is what is petroleum? Petroleum is a naturally occurring liquid mixture of hydrocarbons which is present in suitable rock strata and can be extracted and refined to produce fuels. It has become an integral part of today's global economy. Next, I will focus on the question, what is petroleum exploration? Petroleum exploration is the process of finding commercially viable hydrocarbons. At the early stage, some people thought that oil lies in big pools underground, but actually most oil is trapped in the tiny pore spaces between grains of rocks or sands. Most of the spores are too small to see in the naked eye. Now let us know the goals of petroleum exploration. Firstly, to identify and locate prospect of hydrocarbon, which might be contained in the potential reservoirs, to quantify the volumes of hydrocarbons and to evaluate the risk inherent in the project. And last but not the least, reduction of costs and time of drilling procedure. Petroleum exploration is not the type of endeavor where all definite factors are obvious at all times. The explorationist must use his or her personal experience as well as that of other team members to solve any problems. Here we show a simple pictorial illustration of how we will come to this world. Then I will discuss about a major issue which is part of petroleum exploration method. Petroleum exploration method is divided into surface and subsurface exploration. For surface, we use remote sensing, fieldwork, and geophysical method. And for subsurface, we use two type of method, which are specifically oil line well logging and drilling the exploration well. They are also used geochemical method, which can be direct as well as indirect. To begin with surface methods, remote sensing. It uses aerial photographs to locate and map surface features, and a satellite sensor records the reflected electromagnetic radiation, which is processed into an image. Also, fieldwork. Field studies of rock outcrops can be conducted to locate and sample surface petroleum systems as evidence of potential traps. So that was my part of our presentation. Now I am going to hand over this to our next presenter, Najmi Maktalopa. Assalamu alaikum. I am Najmi Maktalopa. I will discuss on surface methods for petroleum exploration. Geophysical methods and geochemical methods are widely used surface methods for petroleum exploration. Starting with geophysical methods. Geophysical methods can be used for cost-effective site characterization and monitoring by observing for, co uh, for uh, cost-effective site characterization and monitoring by observing variation in the gravity, magnetic, seismic, and electric properties of surface materials. First, we will know the gravity method. In gravity surveys, differences in the density of crustal rocks are measured by gravimeter. It measures spatial variations in the Earth's gravitational field caused by differences in the density of subsurface rocks. Moving on, magnetic method. It measures the spatial variations in the strength of magnetic field. The operative physical property is the magnetic susceptibility and remanence. This figure depicts the main principle of the magnetic method. Magnetic methods are widely used in petroleum exploration, engineering, borehole, and global geophysics. Next, seismic method. Seismic methods are the most commonly conducted geophysical surveys for engineering investigations. Seismic refraction pro provides the most basic of geologic data. Seismic surveys are the best geophysical means subsurface structural and stratigraphic representation. The seismograph provides the only direct way of acquiring subsurface structural information without drilling a well. Advancing to electrical method. Electrical uh, geophysical prospect prospecting methods detect the surface effects produced by electric current follow in the ground using electromagnetic fields that occur naturally or introduced artificially in the ground. Finally, the geochemical methods. The biomarker and isotopic analysis are closely related to the geochemical methods. Biomarker helps geologists to understand the correlation of petroleum to source rocks, as they used to find out which source rock the petroleum originated from. On the other hand, isotopic analysis, the sample ratio of the absolute amounts of two isotopes 
which is measured by mass spectrometer. My presentation part is over, so I am giving it my next teammate, MD Mahfuz Alam, who will discuss on the rest of the slide. I am Mahfuz, so let's jump to the subsurface method. Here in a wireline logging method, a device called logging tool, which is put into a borehole. This tool gathers all the data and from this data, rock lithology, formation the fluid saturation are interrupted. Next, the drilling uh, of the exploration well is aimed to confirm the presence of the petroleum accumulation. Yes, obviously, an exploration company will drill a well once all geophysical and geochemical data satisfy them, ensuring an economically viable project. In the summary, we mentioned all the methods. Here we can find magnetic and gravity methods gives us the indirect hint of the petroleum source and seismic survey gives us the, us the best resolution of features of subsurface geology. Moving on, here we attach some of the references uh, from where we source this information. Hopefully everybody enjoyed our presentation. We tried our best. Thank you.